ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for John Jean Franco. Good evening and welcome. My name is Gianfranco, and also for my English, you can realize that I am Italian. <laughs> <laughs> However, if there's anything you don't understand, please ask, and then I will repeat it. <laughs> but in Italian, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing is believing. For example, on CDs, people believe that the cards are blanks. But it's possible to recognize the different cards. For example, yes, this is the first Joker. Yeah. And also from the backs, for example... Mm -hmm. This is the second joker. Really? And the difference is very clear between this one and this one, which is not a joker. <laughs> well, not everyone seems convinced. So, for those of you who don't believe this, I gently rub the jokers. Can I rub it? And now they are <laughs> visible. Oh. And it's just a question of strength, but not physical. Magical strength, and now all the cards oh. are yeah. no. visible. Oh. And, and also, I discovered that if I keep the jokers too close to the deck, now all the cards turn red. Oh. Oh. Red uh, the jokers, and red all the deck. Oh. And also the well, now the deck is as I want, so I can continue with a classic in card magic, finding the aces, but in a strange way, in a, an unusual way. I create cards by shuffling some card face up with uh, some face down in this way, and I continue and shuffling, rolling, and shuffling. Now the idea, I have to find the aces in just one little shuffle, and also in a few seconds, for example, yes, it's done, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, look. If I keep the deck in this way, by simply rolling it, one, two, three, and the four aces <laughs> appear. To transform cows into order, I pass my hand over these cards and they are now all in the same way. <laughs> and by waving the hand over the aces, these four pies now are four <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> royal, <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> now is the moment to show how to cheat in poker game. <laughs> and for this, uh, I will not use aces because, uh, well, maybe it's too obvious. And I will not use tanks because, well, they are not so good. I will use the four queens because I am a romantic Italian. <laughs> <laughs> and for this, I need a helper. For example, you, sir. Me? Can you <laughs> help me? Okay. Have a seat. And maybe here. Oh, perfect. Well. <laughs> Are you excited? I am okay. excited. <laughs> What's your name? Brian. Brian. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. you. Maybe you know that in professional poker tables, players don't like this kind of shuffle because sharpers can count the cards for stacking. Absolutely. And methods are so good that it's possible stacking the four queens in a five-player situation in more or less 10 seconds. Yeah. For this, two queens need to be on the bottom and two on the top. Do you know why two on the top and two on the bottom? Do you know why? Maybe. No. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, okay. I don't know no. Me neither, but they do the same. <laughs> and, uh, so, more or less 10 seconds, so go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> Okay, it's done. <laughs> really, look. If I cut the deck, in ideal for five players, the first queen comes, uh -huh. and also <laughs> the second, <laughs> and the third. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, uh, the fourth card, the six of spades. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> because in the poker I have to deal five cards, so 
are the last card. The last wow. queen. Thank you. Well, but I know what you're thinking. Maybe it's too easy in this way because the new two queens were on top and two on the bottom. So now I will try an experiment. Please lift some cards from the first bucket, not all, just some cards, and put them on my hand. Okay, and I put a queen here. Now lift some cards from the second packet and put them on top of the first. So with your cards, you decide how many cards on top and below of the first queen. Yeah. So let's continue this way. Lift some cards from here to here. Right. And some cards from here to here. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Now the four queens are lost in different part, parts of the deck. But before I decided there were five players. If you want, you can decide one less or one more. So if five is okay for you, five. If not four or six players, it's up to you. Five. 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 Okay. Now it's clear what I have to do. I have to find the queens <laughs> lost in the deck by your cards and stack them in a five player situation because you decided so. Now it's very difficult, right? <laughs> it's done. <laughs> really, look. If I cut the deck and I deal for five players, the four queens, once more, are together. Thank you very much. Well, of course, you can check there are no other queens in the deck, of course. <laughs> okay. But now you know the reason why expert players don't like this kind of shuffle. Reefle shuffle instead is approved, but it's possible to cheat also with it. And for these three queens need to be on top and one on the bottom. Do you know why two queens on top and one on the bottom? No. No. <laughs> you later, know, but I do the same. But methods are so well that it's possible stacking the four queens in a five player situation with just one reefle shuffle followed by a running cut. And believe it or not, it's done. In fact, cut the deck and I did for five players. One more time. Mm -hmm. The first queen counts. Well, expert players are convinced that if a shuffle is a fair shuffle, also almost impossible to cheat with it. I don't know you, but I have many, many doubts. <laughs> well, but another way of cheating is called deal from anywhere. Let's suppose I want to give one, um, the four queens to one of the other four players as my stooge, my shield. For example, as my shield, <laughs> which one would you like it to be? The first, the second, the third, or the fourth? We'll do the second. The second, the second. okay. Now I put queens in different parts in the deck and also face up. Of course, there are no cards face up in classic poker. It is just to help you in seeing what I'm going to do. And now I don't... Shuffle. Just cut. And I start to deal. You decide the second. Okay, so this is the card for the first. This is the card for the second player. My shield. You, of course, is not a queen. Otherwise, we will see it face up. And also, it's not here, it's not there. So there are no queens near to the top and also near to the bottom. But by sense of touch, because the queens are in the deck face up, just by sense of touch, I can get one. So, any time I'm going to deal to my partner, I can get a queen wow. from anywhere. And this, any time, <laughs> until the four queens are once more together. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, but now the question is, does it take a long time to learn these moves? Yes. <laughs> so the real question is, why is it so much to give the winning hand to another player? It's much better if you have the Absolutely. four queens. No. <laughs> but I have the four aces, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you like uh, the what I just done, because when I do the same in a real poker game, other players are not so <laughs> <laughs> But now, another uh, classic Inker Magic is called Finding a selected card. And for this, I need one more helper. For example, you, miss, can you join me here at the table? Yeah. And give her a big round of applause. Thank you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Fine. Fine. 
with the tip of your first finger, just point one of this card. Just point. This? Sure. Okay. Look at it, remember it, mm -hmm. take it, okay. show it to the audience. Okay, can I turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, put the card here. Because I, now I will try in very difficult way. Shuffle. Okay. Shuffle. Yep. Okay. okay. So I will try in very difficult way from a shuffle deck. Thanks. And without looking at the faces of the card. So just by sense of touch. And in three seconds. I try. <laughs> For the first time, name your card. Just you say it. Two of clubs. Two of clubs. Okay. Three seconds. One, two, two, three. And three. Yeah. And two of clubs. Thank you. But I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I didn't see the face of the cars, but I was looking at the deck. So maybe by estimation. So as before, you two, with the tip of your first finger, just point one of these cards. This. Look at it, remember it, take it, show it to the audience. Okay. And now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as before, as before, shuffle. So, now I will try a more difficult way. With card on the floor. Okay. From a shuffle deck, two times. Three times. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and the cut. Okay. So, whew, very difficult now. So, without looking at the face of the card and without looking at the deck. More difficult. No way. <laughs> wow, <laughs> well, no. maybe too difficult. No way. But uh, I will help. Uh, I open. <laughs> For the first time, name your card. Jack of Hearts? Exactly. <laughs> the Jack of Hearts. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> in both cases, the selected card, the selected card were removed from the deck. But what if a card is just selected by a pick? Good question. Yeah. And uh, for this, uh, uh, have you got imagination? You have you got imagination? Okay. <laughs> and, uh, if you have imagination, <laughs> what is this? Like gun. A gun. No, it's a deck of cards. But you have imagination. <laughs> okay, I pass my first finger in this way. Tell me, stop where you want. Stop. Okay, remember this card. You too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you remember this card. And let's suppose this is a real gun, and this is the bullet. No way. Okay, I put here. <laughs> For the first time, name your card. Name it. Name it. <laughs> Jack of Diamonds, because in inserting the bullet, one card is shot out. I hope exactly the Jack of Diamonds. But I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Cards are always selected with the deck in my hands. But what if any person here? Name a random card. Very good question. <laughs> and uh, for this, for example, Yuli. Yeah. It's not dangerous. Don't, don't worry. Uh, what's your name? My name's Maya. Maya. I shuffle a little bit more. And uh, Maya. I will try. Maybe it doesn't work. Uh, name any card. <laughs> Ace of Diamonds. There we go. Yeah, Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Yes. Okay. Your name is Maya M A Y A. M A Y A. M A Y A. Yeah. Okay. I try. Yeah. <laughs> I put a card for each letter of your name. You're lying. So no. You're no way. M I A Y. Okay, this is the card. Of the no, no, of no way, no way. You, oh you take the card, but don't turn face up. 
for for now. Don't uh, keep it this down. Okay. This is the card. No way. Yeah. Now uh, we count three. At the three, you turn the card okay. face up in this way, so all the people can see it. And after, you have to tap your hair <laughs> because if this card is the ace of diamond, all the people here scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Ace of diamonds. Okay. One, two, and three. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What if instead of just one, two cards are selected? Hmm. And what if nobody in the world knows the identity of the two chosen cards? This is a strange question, but okay. <laughs> and um, for this, I'm dividing the deck exactly enough. And uh, please, cut and complete. Okay. okay, now without looking at it, take the first card and put it under one of your hands. I'll believe it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and you have to do the same. Oh, 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 no, no, that, you have cut and complete, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, without looking at it, take the first card and put it under one of your hands. Okay, so, nobody in the world knows the identity no, of the two no chosen cards. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible, and that is true, but I'm lucky. For example, three of spades and eight of spades. Thanks. No. Who has which one, though? No, really. Here the three of spades, and here the eight of spades. Please lift the hands. Lift the hands. Now please. Now please. No more question. Because after all, I am just a human being. But. As Jonathan Gottschall said, only humans tell stories. And that is true. Of course, each in his personal way. For example, writers with books, singers with songs. Well, I have just a deck of cards. Now I would like to ask you a last effort in, in imagination. Just imagine, this is no longer a deck of cards, but it's a book with 52 pages. Now I will turn the pages of this book, and with them, I will try to tell you a story. Well, this is the story of two friends. Well, in reality, one was the servant of the other one, but they were friends. Ah, during the, the story, I will ask you some question. You have always to answer two. Okay. It's easy. For example, how many friends we have? Okay. Two. Okay. <laughs> and they were together every day of the year, so 360. Five. <laughs> the servant was 32 years old. The other one, 85. The servant would have liked to be a king while the other was a king. <laughs> but with a dream, go back to be a prince, a child. As when he was, hey, oh, excuse me, 10 years old. <laughs> Imagine he was. Uh, king for 35 years but every single night he was dreaming go back to be a child <laughs> 10 years old and this for night after night always the same always the same dream go back to be a child 10 years old one day the king gave to his servant four coins as the weekly wage and the servant said well Four <laughs> coins are enough. If you give me nine coins, I could feed my two daughters, one six and the other nine years old. As you know, say the servant, that with just four <laughs> coins, we can eat every day of the week. So, seven. <laughs> we can eat for just four days. 
Oh. Oh. The king looked at him and said, you know, to convince people, you are an ace. Okay, I give to you nine coins, so you can feed now your two daughters, one six and the other nine years old. <laughs> and these friends, uh, how many friends we have? Two. Two? <laughs> <laughs> these friends were talking in this way every day of the year, so 365. <laughs> One day, the king proposed a poker game. Of course, a poker game with how many players? Two. Two. Okay. And the servant said, OK, it's fine. But what we are going to play for? Well, don't worry, said the king. Because if I win, you won't lose anything. But if you win, my kingdom will be yours. Oh, so cards were dealt. The servant looked at his hand, full house, seven over eight, <laughs> oh, but maybe be a king is a destiny. The king, in fact, had a full house, aces of a king. The servant, the servant looked at him and said, you won, the kingdom will remain yours. Yes, said the king, but all I really wanted was just go back to be a child. Ten years old. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. This is not for you and child. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for my question. You're a great artist. Huh? You're a great artist. <laughs> 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 Are you talking about my game? I know. You're my secretary. I'm pretty happy.